We can select the default 3D view multiple ways. The quick access toolbar, under 3D views in the view tab, and in the project browser. To duplicate the view, we can right click and select duplicate. Now, let's right click the new view and rename it 3D elevation. The ViewCube widget can be used to select standard views like the right, left, and top sides, or the corners of our model. We can always return to the model's default position by selecting the Home icon. We can also click and hold the ViewCube widget and move the cursor around to orbit the model in space. Next, let's select the Steering Wheels widget. Using this tool, we can click and hold Orbit in order to rotate our model. In the 3D view, check the box in the View Properties palette named Section Box. This turns on the section box. Clicking on the box allows us to move the limits of the box. Let's move the edges of the box in in order to create a 3D section view. We can use the ViewCube widget to get appropriate views of the 3D model. Now, let's duplicate the default 3D view and rename it 3D Plan. Once again, show the section box and adjust the limits of the box to create a 3D Plan view. In a floor plan, open the camera tool under 3D view in the view tab. Now, let's click a location on the plan view to place the camera. Next, we will drag the target out to the object or area of interest. Place the target. This will open up our perspective view. Let's rename the view Studio Stairs. In the view of our studio stairs, we can change the detail level and visual style. First, change the visual style to shaded with edges. Next, let's select the crop region. Adjust the region to see more of our perspective view. Now, let's return to the first floor plan view. In the project browser, right-click our new perspective view 
and select Show Camera. The camera now appears in our first floor plan view. With the camera displayed, we can now move the target, far clip offset, or the camera itself. In the view properties, we can also change things such as the eye elevation or camera height. Let's lower our camera to one foot off the ground. Returning to the 3D view will show the changes. Our widgets will also work in this view. Select the steering wheels widget. With this widget, we can move the camera up or down. Or we can also look around to see different areas of the room.